Hi, my name is Mai Ngo and I will be joining the department in August 2024 as an assistant professor. In this video, I will be introducing myself and the research that my lab will work on. I am the daughter of an electrical engineering professor and so I've lived in college towns for most of my life. I was born in Gainesville, Florida, which is the home to the University of Florida, and moved to Blacksburg, Virginia, which is the home to Virginia Tech in middle school. I stayed in Blacksburg to obtain my BS in chemical engineering at Virginia Tech, where my undergraduate research focused on processing of polymeric materials and organic synthesis of antimicrobial compounds. For graduate school, I attended the University of Illinois and pivoted towards tissue engineering and biomaterials research. Currently, I am a postdoc at the Biological Design Center at Boston University, where I am combining tissue engineering tools with cell engineering and mammalian synthetic biology principles to, to design vascularized tissues. As a result of all of these different research experiences, I'm really interested in tissue engineering and communication between different cell types within a tissue. In my free time, I love to rock climb, cook and bake, and explore new places such as new restaurants, new hiking spots, or new cities, states, or countries. I'm excited to join the University of Wisconsin-Madison because I think that everyone is really friendly and open to collaboration here, and it's a great school for biomedical research. I'll be starting my lab in fall 2024, and so I'm looking forward to recruiting one to two graduate students to be the inaugural members of my lab. I think that joining a new lab presents the exciting opportunity to not only define the first scientific discoveries that will set the trajectory for the lab over the next few years, but also to establish the culture of the lab and to be the intellectual and social leaders for the group. If you're excited by the idea of building something from the ground up, then joining a new lab might be a challenge that suits you. I'm really excited by the idea of building engineered human tissues. We can use these tissues as biological models to study different tissue processes or diseases, or as implants for regenerative medicine. To build these tissues, I combine tools from tissue engineering, cell engineering, and mammalian synthetic biology in order to generate platforms in which we can control the architecture of the tissue, as well as signaling between the cells in the tissue. We will use these tissues to study how different cell types talk to each other. In our bodies, all of our tissues contain different cell types, including parenchymal cells, which provide function, such as the hepatocyte in the liver or the neuron in the brain, stromal cells, which provide structural support, vascular cells, which build blood vessels to transport nutrients and oxygen, and immune cells. These cell types are all constantly talking to each other to define how the tissue forms and functions, and dysregulation of this communication can lead to disease. I'm interested in understanding the signals that are being produced and exchanged by different cell types within a tissue and how these signals influence tissue development, regeneration, and disease. Using the biological insights that we gain from our tissue models, we can then think about repurposing our tissues so that they can perform as implants for regenerative medicine. If we discover a signal that makes a cell grow or function better, for example, we can program the cells in our engineered tissues to produce this signal such that this signal can then be used to guide regenerative events inside the body. While these concepts can be applied to any tissue or biological phenomena, initial areas of interest for the lab include the development of microvascular tissues, cancer, and development and regeneration of neurovascular tissue. So what does research in the lab look like? You will get to learn how to use biomaterials, microfabrication tools, and 3D cell culture techniques to design and build tissue models to recapitulate a biological process or phenomena that we're trying to study. You will use molecular cloning and synthetic biology in order to engineer the signals that a cell is producing, and then incorporate these engineered cells into our engineered tissues. You will then study and characterize the behavior of cells within these tissue models by using different biological techniques, such as microscopy and protein and gene expression analysis. If you're interested in studying biological processes with engineering tools, the work in my lab could be of interest to you. I will now provide an overview of two example projects from my lab. Throughout my graduate and postdoctoral training, my research has focused on building vascularized tissue models. One of the limitations of these models is that they have limited functionality. In other words, the blood vessels that we form in these models are rarely perfused. 
We know that the extracellular matrix, which is the glue of proteins and carbohydrates that holds a tissue together, influences cell behavior. Thus, can we engineer extracellular matrix composition in our engineered tissues to promote vessel perfusion? To answer this question, we will create a library of biomaterials that mimic different extracellular matrix components, integrate these biomaterials with vascular cells in a microfluidic model of vascularization, and characterize the perfusion and architecture of the resulting microvascular networks. Our results will provide design rules to generate perfused vascularized tissues to improve the physiological relevance of biological models and the performance of these tissues for therapeutic applications. The second project is focused on studying cancer. A few members of my extended family have suffered from cancer, and so it's an area of research that I'm really passionate about. I developed biomaterial models to study brain cancer in graduate school, and in my own lab, I am interested in studying the process of cancer metastasis. Most deaths from cancer occur when tumor cells leave the primary tumor and disseminate to other tissues. We don't really understand how to predict when cancer metastasis will happen or which tissues will receive the metastatic tumor cells. I'm interested in understanding how signals that are generated by cells in the primary tumor are sensed by cells in the brain microenvironment in order to drive brain metastasis. How do these signals make the blood vessels in the brain more susceptible to letting tumor cells enter the brain? And how do these signals prime the brain microenvironment so that these tumors grow and flourish once they metastasize? To answer these questions, we will build tissues to model the primary and metastatic tumor sites, characterize how tumor cells and vascular cells behave in these models, and analyze the signals that are produced by these different cell types. Results from this project will advance our understanding of tumor cell metastasis to the brain and provide new therapeutic targets for next generation therapies. To end this presentation, I wanted to give an overview of the values of my lab. I believe in holistic training. If you join my lab, you will not only learn technical and scientific skills, but you will be trained in scientific communication, safety, ethics, mentoring, and professional development. I will mentor you according to your personal and professional goals and ensure that you are given the skills and opportunities to succeed and advance on the career path that you choose for yourself. Our lab will be a place where researchers from all backgrounds are welcome and have the opportunity to bring their full selves to work each and every day. Conversations regarding diversity and inclusion will be a part of lab training. All members of the lab will be treated with respect, and I want to establish a lab environment in which everyone feels included and valued. I also believe that we have a responsibility to contribute to the society that surrounds us. Thus, not only will we participate in outreach opportunities to share science and engineering with K-12 students and other members of the Madison community, but we will also think about ways to apply our research tools to study health problems that impact populations in our community that have been historically understudied. So to wrap up, I hope that you've gotten a sense of the research that my lab will pursue, as well as the lab culture that I hope to build. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions, and I look forward to seeing you in Madison.